Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Paige, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my winter pamper routine. So to get things started off, I'm just gonna make me something to drink. This can be totally up to you if you want something warm, if you want something a little more, I guess something that's got more taste than what I chose, um, but you can definitely pick whatever you want. And I'm gonna light some candles and also get my diffuser going as well. Just to get our bath started so it can be filling up. But you don't seem to be around. While the tub is filling, I'm gonna go ahead and do some pampering to myself. First off with my hair, I'm gonna use some massage oil. This is my absolute favorite. It has like a minty scent, so if you have some sinus issues, it will definitely open your sinuses up for sure. And it just really makes you so zenned out. All my cares and stresses are just like out the window when I pull this little bottle out. Well, my dreams lie. applying a hair mask this one I've used a couple times and I really like it it smells incredible and my hair feels extremely soft after I use it and once I've ran it through evenly through all of my hair I will put normally a shower cap but because I didn't have any today I just grabbed a grocery bag it does the same thing and they're free and I'm just gonna use my little turby twist thing to really help lock in some heat so it will help get some more moisture going you don't know. Now that all of the candles have been going and the diffuser, it's time to complete the vibe. We're going for incredibly zen, cozy vibes. Adding some coconut oil and Epsom salt to the bath. Also a bath bomb from Lush. I absolutely love, love bath bombs from there. They smell incredible and my skin feels really, really soft afterwards when I get out of the tub. Although it's winter, I feel like I'm having a little bit of pore issue, so I decided that this face mask would be perfect for tonight. And it's not incredibly drying, but I will make sure to go back in and hydrate after I'm out of the shower. always take a shower after I take a bath so I went ahead while I was in the shower and washed my face and hair and first thing as soon as I get out of the shower I have to use this facial mist it is a must if you have not tried it yet it's a double duty mist by Nors you have to try it the benefits of coconut oil pulling are incredible. If you haven't looked them up, you definitely should. But Kapari makes it really simple because they have these individual packets that are like semi-flavored. They're not like really, you know, flavored. But the one that's my favorite is the coconut mint, which is the same, I guess, flavor you would call it as their toothpaste. And it starts off as a solid, just like coconut oil. And you move it around your mouth and you swish it for at least five minutes. And once you've done that, you can just spit it out now don't spit it out in the sink don't spit it out in something you know that you want to keep always spit it out in the trash because it'll clog up your drains and stuff so you definitely want to make sure you're being careful of that in the meantime while we wait for that timer to go off I'm going to apply some goodies to my face just to make sure that it's staying hydrated and moisturized because this time of year it's so dry outside so we want to make sure we're taking extra special care for our skin the timer is going off, which means we're all done with that. Moving straight on into brushing our teeth. On my pamper nights, I like to go the extra mile and use a charcoal toothpaste. It has been a goal of mine this year to take better care of my teeth. And I was so excited when I seen that Kapari had reached out to me 
to collaborate on today's video so if you have not tried their products yet y'all look down below in the description box i will have a link for you their toothpaste is incredible my teeth feel like i have left the dentist and just got a cleaning i am not exaggerating it is amazing one of the reasons that i love their toothpaste so much is because it's 100 percent natural and it's fluoride free so it's formulated with that activated charcoal so it's going to give you that boost of extra whitening while working to capture the toxins that can cause staining and bad breath so because it's 100 percent natural it's not going to have any of those harsh chemicals in it that are known to cause dry mouth and chat lips and the outer corners of your mouth when you know how that gets dry there so you're going to be free from that and it's going to help restore your enamel whiten your teeth and freshen your breath Using my code PAGE15, you'll get 15% off of your first purchase or first subscription at www.kaparabeauty.com. Changing into something really comfy and cozy, depending on the time of day, I will put on loungewear or PJs, but really there's, there's no difference. <laughs> of relax right now I'm going to go into our bedroom and finish off with my feet so because I softened them up by soaking in the tub I'm going to go straight in with this little petty spa thing now you want to do this over something I do have a trash can over there that I'm doing this over so don't just be doing this in the bed and you'll have dry skin on your bed and that ain't cute sis that ain't cute at all <laughs> so make sure you got something that you're doing that over and then once I'm all finished with both of my feet doing that then I'm just going to go in with some lotion and don't be like me and get it everywhere because <laughs> I literally got it all over the bed for some reason it just kept squirting all out of that bottle and now I'm just going to apply it to my feet now once I put this on and I like to put this on liberally and most of the time I don't like rub it all the way in sometimes I leave a little bit not rubbed in because I'm going to put socks on and these are my favorite socks I have like six different pairs of these these are aloe socks and they feel a oh my gosh they feel so freaking good on your feet so i like to follow it up with those and finishing up my pamper routine i like to get all snuggled up in bed or on the couch or wherever i've decided to go whatever looks most appealing to me that's typically where i find myself and i will turn on something that i'm totally behind on because being honest y'all i don't get to watch tv much here lately what are some shows that y'all have been totally obsessed with and binge watching here lately? Whether that's on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also during this time, I like to pull out my iPad and just live my best life on Pinterest. Hey y'all and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this winter pamper routine. This is something that I try to do at least once a month. Obviously depending on the season the products do change because of my skin needs or whatever it is that I'm needing. If I'm like extra stressed then of course then my routine changes but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below what is your favorite way to give back to yourself, to pamper yourself and make yourself less stressed and I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day y'all.